Susie Harrison, take it away. Thank you so much, Steve. And uh, uh, applause here for uh, Steve for doing such a great job. There he goes straight up. He's going to be going into the aerobatic box. We are on with you live. Are we out for the crowd? Yes, we are. Good morning, Campbell. What an honor and a pleasure to be flying for you today. What a beautiful day. What a wonderful day for an air show. Thank you so much for coming out. You know, I've done this before, but I think I need Maneuver is called a knife edge spin. At this type of density altitude, believe it or not, it's a little difficult to do that. So if he starts it and pulls out of it, it's because it was a little uh, not doable. But uh, this beautiful airplane is a Slim 50 from the Czech Republic. There was only about 78 of these built. This is number 77, so it's fairly new. And there he goes straight up. Absolutely beautiful skies today here at Cable Airport in Upland. And there goes the knife edge spin. On our first date, Rob took me flying, and you'll see him do everything we did three times on our date. I had to pass the test. Beautiful skies. You know, usually we have a lot of wind here in Southern California. As you can see, the smoke is just stay right there. Where Rob left it. Absolutely great. I hope you're taking photographs. Please post them on Facebook. Tumbling Bear has a Facebook page called Tumbling Bear. He loves to see your photos and comments. And um, beautiful, beautiful, graceful data fly. That is a big number eight. I bet you you can see Rob flying from downtown LA today because it is a beautiful day. And I applaud you for coming out in this cold weather. And I hope the sun is warming you up because in Rob's cockpit, it will get warm in there. He's got a nice big cockpit that's all glass. And uh, it actually warms him up after a while.
So if any of you get the opportunity to even just go flying, I encourage you to do that because you will not believe how much fun it is. I know you kids out there like the video games and do that, but you know what? There is no comparison to being out there in the sky. So if you have any cookies that you brought, I think it looks great, honey. Have a great show there. If you have any cookies that you brought, you better hide them because when the tumbling bear comes along the flight line, lining up right now, but I was telling you, if you have cookies, you better hide them because he will actually take them right out of your hands. He is a cookie monster. Last night, one of the volunteers here and organizers, Virginia, sent home a plate full of cookies and brownies, and this morning I noticed they were all gone. Get that photo. You know, our announcer Steve here today has a lot of time in his late 50s, so I know when he's sitting here watching Rob fly, his heart is inside that airplane too. How about it, Steve? There's not a lot of saloon um, pilots out there in the world since only 78 of them were built, so you got two slim 50 pilots right here at Cable Airport. I spent 16 years in the slim 50 Susie, and I miss every day of that. What an absolute summer from flying airplane. 16 years in a slim 50? Wow, that's almost as long as Rob. Rob has been flying uh, for 20 years. Here in Southern California, Northern California, Arizona, Colorado, many places, uh, New Mexico. This weekend will be Rob's last cable air show. He's going to retire. He's going to be doing the Chino Air Show in May, May 4th and 5th, and that will be his last show. He wants to retire, and uh, we have six airplanes. I have three, he's got three. I've been flying for 20 years, so we like to travel across the United States, go up to Vermont in the summertime, visit our family in New York. So look at that. I hope you are getting these photos, even with your iPhones or smartphones. Post those photos. He loves to see them. Now, Rob worked for the U.S. Forest Service for 28 years. He retired. They're back in the 80s. And um, he's still actually doing a little consulting when you see those fighter planes, I mean the uh, fire tankers and helicopters that drop the fire retardant. Rob is the engineer that worked on the, those systems that are still being used today. You know, he went to flight test engineering school at the University of Tennessee Space Institute. He attended Pax River as a civilian and uh, as a test pilot. He's also got a law doctorate from the University of Laverne, a mechanical engineering master's from Oregon State University. So he's got quite a few degrees. We got two doctors flying here today, Dr. D, Frank Donnelly, and Dr. Harrison. And that's why he's called a tumbling bear. And after he lands, he'll be parking here. And uh, he'll be signing autographs. He's got brand new autographs today for this air show. 
they'll be happy to sign you this collector card. This is card number five. So for some of you who have been collecting the cards through the years, this is card number five and the last card of the Tumbling Bear. We also have tattoos for the kids and kids of all ages. Here comes the tumble. One, two, three. Okay, Tom Wingberry, that was great. He's going to do a nice pass and then he'll be coming around and landing and signing those autographs. I'd like to thank Cable Airport and Air Show and everyone on the committee and everyone involved and all the sponsors for having the Tom Wingberry here today and thank you for coming and bringing out the kids. For all of you out there, get yourself in an airplane. You are going to have so much time. You will never play a video game again. I promise you. Susie, thank you very much. Big round of applause to Susie Harris and Rob's wife. Now, I can honestly say the Slim Pimp is one of the nicest flying aircraft I've ever had the pleasure of flying. I've had two of them in my past. Uh, literally have spent 16 years making a living behind